Oh, hey, I didn't see you come in there. Hey, everyone. <laughs> hey, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. The band Genesis. Phil Collins, Peter Gabriel, etc. The main two members of Genesis are Phil Collins and Peter Gabriel. Phil Collins is an open Freemason. Here's the square and compass and the G. And he says in a quote, Beyond a certain point, the music isn't mine anymore. It's yours, brother Phil Collins. Something I don't like at all is that Freemasons call each other brother. No, people that are born again and have faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ, those are brothers and sisters. Freemasons, a made-up, man-made, occult, secret society, they do not get to use the term brother and sister for things. They can think they can, but in reality, no. You're not a brother if you're a brother in Freemasonry. You're a brother and sister if you are in Christ. So Phil Collins, the out Freemason, he's a known Freemason. Here's one of his album covers, Phil Collins. I'm not take a, whatever that says there, it's pretty small, I can't read it, but here's one-eye symbolism. What do you know, Freemasonry and the one-eye symbolism? Who would have guessed Phil Collins has the sign of success on his hand, which is 666. Here's Phil Collins doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, a gesture that's supposed to represent supreme enlightenment. It is not. It's the false light of Lucifer. Lucifer is Satan, and doing this pose is the pride of humanity. And he's doing it again here. He's posing for a photo. And he's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra with his hands, the version where they point it down. Maybe not to be recognized, but many Christians recognize this nowadays, and we know it's from the wrong team. Here's Phil Collins looking a little homeless, and he's dressed up in his, his sweater, and he's hiding his hand in his sweater the way a Freemason would do. He has a, da a daughter that's an actress, Lily Collins. Has she taken a bite out of that apple there? Because she covers one of her eyes utterly, darkening it, doing the eye of Horus, one-eye symbolism. She does more one-eye symbolism here. She's using her book, which no one should buy, and she's darkening one eye utterly, doing one-eye symbolism with it. Here she is at a restaurant, and the fork is darkening one of her eyes utterly, doing one-eye symbolism. Here she is in a modeling shoot, darkening one eye utterly, doing one-eye symbolism. And she's hanging out on the Freemason checkerboard. Duality. You can be good, you can be bad, it all balances out, right? Who cares what God thinks? God wants us to be good? No, let's go with Freemasonry. You can be good and bad. It's going to balance out. Karma, man. And Lily Collins is doing the vow of silence. The vow of silence. The vow of silence. Moving on, an artist that I actually like his songs. I like Peter Gabriel's songs. He's using a leaf to darken one eye utterly, doing the eye of Horus, one eye symbolism. Why? Because he's sold out. It doesn't matter if they make good music. It doesn't matter if you like them or not. These people, famous people, and it's even not famous people, they do signs, symbols, and agendas that are antichrist, very carefully showing what team they're on. I don't know if they want people to know. Sometimes it seems like it, but have you tried to wake someone up? Have you tried showing them one-eye symbolism and the Uttara Bodhi Mudra and the vow of silence and Freemasonry and the flat, motionless, domed earth? Have you tried showing people that? Because they don't want to wake up, and it's sad and pathetic. Here's Peter Gabriel hiding his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. He's doing one-eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. He's got the sign of success on his hand, which is A-OK, -okay, right? And he's doing it again there, the sign of success. And he's darkening one eye utterly, doing one eye symbolism. One of those issues concerned on the second day of creation in Genesis 1, verses 6 through 8, where God made the expanse or the firmament. 
The Hebrew word is rakia, pronounced rakia. Biblical scholars understand that the rakia to be a solid dome-like structure, it separates waters into two parts so that there is waters above the firmament, the rakia, and waters below it. The waters above are kept at bay so the world can become inhabit in inhabitable. On the third day, the waters below the rakia gathered into one place to form the sea and allow dry land to appear. This is creation. It is not that long ago. 6,000 years ago, God made creation. God did not make creation a billion years ago. God has always existed. Our, our Father, our Lord, and the Holy Spirit have always been. There, there's no creation for them. They have always been. God made the firmament, the earth, the waters above, the waters below, the heavens, all creation in six days, 6,000 years ago, not that long ago. And Jesus Christ, our Lord God and Savior, came to earth and died on the cross 2,000 some years ago, not that long in compared to creation. People don't want to take this serious, but this is serious. Genesis, which Peter Gabriel and Phil Collins are a part of. Their band is called Genesis. Genesis mentions the rakia, the firmament, which divides the waters above from the waters below, the heavens and the earth. It divides these things because these things are real, and that's how God created the earth not that long ago. Earth is creation. This is creation. We're looking at creation above the waters, there's no creation of planets and everything going on forever. There's waters above the firmament, heavens above the firmament, and God literally above us. The sun, the moon, the wandering stars, the stars, they are inside the firmament dome. If people want to call that space, go for it. But they must realize space is within the firmament dome and it's not everything everywhere. There's waters above, heavens above, God above us. Brothers and sisters and everyone else, God bless you.